Hello, everyone. Uh, you guys know I haven't been live here for a long time. So we're going to see on my other device here if uh, I'm live. So right there, it's show I'm live, but I have no clue what I am doing, to be honest. I am honest here. It's been so long I didn't go live on Facebook, but I think I am. So um, if you are joining me, it's show I'm there. Perfect. So if you can hear me, let me know. I'm going to test this here. Okay. I know you hear me twice there. Here we go. Perfect. I see Carol. Perfect. I'm going to shut this device so I don't get the juice of the thing. So can you hear me good? And I see my thing. Perfect. It looks like we are doing good. Okay. I decided to pop a live. I didn't see nobody that asked question uh, on my page. I said, um, if you have any question... Today was the day I would do a Q&A. So if you got, um, mm, here we go. Um, if you get any question, feel free to ask. I'm trying to see if I can, no. I know it's a place I can see the comment better. I think I got it. I think, I think I got it. Let me double check that. Perfect. I see there in the comment. Awesome. So yeah, if you get any question about the business, about stamping up, uh, ask away and then um, I'm going to do my best to answer. So you know this month we got the designer series paper on sale. So today I'm going to share you two simple cards. One's going to be a Father Day's card because, hmm, I needed one for my hobby. And then um, I'm going to share uh, just a yellow card. It's going to be more on the feminine side, okay? It's very, very simple. All month of June for my Create on the Fly on uh, face, uh, YouTube, I've been showcasing the designer series paper and in all simple card. So many say, I got so much paper, I'm afraid to cut it. Well, I'm pretty sure with what I've been sharing, you won't be afraid to cut in that beautiful paper. And to all that share my uh, broadcast today, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, again, it's going to be the designer series paper. It is 50, uh, now 15, 13, a pack that it's at 15% off. And that lasts for the month of June. Another thing that's going on for the month of June that I think it's amazing, it's to join my team. Okay, I know many of you are like, uh, no, I don't want to do what you're doing and so on. Did you know that you can join Stamping Up just for the discount? And I shouldn't say just. You can join Stamping Up for the amazing discount you can get on all your order. So for... Um, Anytime you join, well, do join Stamping Up and stay active, get a minimum of 20% discount on all their orders. So that's a great saving. Now, you heard me say stay active. I'm going to warn you right now, it is no gimmick. It's no string attached. So you can join. If it's not your thing, you let it go and you become my customer or whoever else customer again. But to stay active, you need to purchase or sell to your friends or whatever. You don't have to sell, but let's say purchase 300 quarterly. So quarterly, it's three months. So if you divide 300 in three months, it's $100 a month. That's before your discount. So with 20%, that would bring to 240 quarterly. That is $80 a month. And I know many of you spend that and more a month. So the choice is yours. I would love to welcome you to my team. If you go at frenchystamps.com, right at the top, I got Q&A for join. Like I said, it's absolutely no string attached. What happens if you don't meet your quarterly? You get drop, whatever, like you don't, your number, it's not active anymore. And you become, you can shop with 
whoever again. So that is a very sweet deal to join. To join right now, you pay $99. That's the outgoing price all the time. Usually you get $125 of product of your choice. For the month of June, they're tossing an uh, extra $30. So you get to choose $155 of your choice. It's going to ship to you for free, another 11% uh, uh, off there. So you get all that. It's a value of $177 and you pay $99. Why $177 and I say you get to choose $155? You get a past paper pumpkin in there. So you get that paper pumpkin. That is a value of $22. So I would love for you to join me. So any questions, shoot away or go to my site and I would be more than happy to help you. So now, shall we go and get creative? These cards are going to be very, very simple, okay? Very simple. I really want you to use that designer series paper because I know you, many of you purchased that designer series paper. They're just collecting dust and I don't want you to sell something to collect dust. It's plenty of knickknack in our house that collect dust so we don't have to add more stuff, right? So let's use that paper. So let me flip you down and et voila. Okay, so uh, like I said, we're gonna do a masculine card and a feminine, well, I mean, it's not really masculine or feminine, but it's gonna be more. Uh, I'm gonna do the blue, this print in ink botanicals. That's, it's a six by six. So you got <clears throat> 12 different print of two sided. So really it's 24 print. Yeah, so it's um, 24 different print because you got back side. So 12, 12 on one side, 12 on the other, okay? So you get 24 different print of the ink botanical. So we're going to do a card in this. And then, like I said, I needed a, a Father's Day card. And some people say, I don't do Father's Day card. You know, my dad is gone or so on. Well, you know what? My dad has been gone for 30-something years, 35 years, to be honest. I was very young when I lost my dad. He had a massive heart attack on sitting on the couch. And... Um, that was it. He was 50. When I say he was very young, he was 50 when he passed of a massive heart attack. And for me, uh, making a father's this card, you don't need to have a father, a dad, whatever. It can be your brother that it's a dad. It can be your, one of your friends and so on. So it's okay to send happy father's day. It's not like you're putting uh, you're my the best father, whatever. So you just cho choose the greeting. And if you put Happy Father's Day, that is perfect. Now, I don't see no more comment. I hope it's still going through. So with that being said, I am using uh, Let's Go Fishing. My husband loves uh, fishing. So I am using this print and this print. Oh, that print, those two print that I'm using, okay? So that's what I'm going to use. I am using the greeting in the um, the stamp set that is available in the bundle, but I am not adding anything. These are like last minute because pretty much it have to be last minute right now just because um, we are Father's Day. It's this weekend. So it has to be something last minute. So we're going to need a piece of designer series paper that we're going to cut at three and three quarter. You know what? I'm going to put that right here. So maybe you guys can take, that's the designer series paper at the top. You don't really show, you can zoom. Or I can put the dimension in the, after we're done. So three and three quarter by two and three quarter. Two, 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 two and three quarter. And then we're going to score that at half inch. And really, I wanted this one at the top. That's okay. And then we're going to do another one at three, no, at, uh, yeah, three and one quarter. Sorry, back up the bus here. We're going to always start at three and three quarter because that's the width, so that you want to make sure the 
it go on the right side. If somebody brave enough to put a comment there, I get a feeling it's not feeding anymore. Okay, three and three quarter by three and one quarter. I hope I'm still live. Okay, I'm gonna move this there. Here we go. And now we get what we need for our card in the designer series paper with let's, uh, is it let's go fishing? It's, yeah, let's go fishing. Now for my base, you're still live. Thank you, thank you. When, when you guys get so quiet, uh, sometimes I'm wondering, uh, did I lose you? Thank you. Um, so I use, so in the designer series paper, it tells you in the catalog, let me show you the catalog, where, what color coordinate with. Like the one that did the paper share with me, or I sell just the, the graphic on my site too. But I got all the color that coordinate. Then I got that in the catalog. So I went with um, the pecan pie because the bag that's going to flip both get the pecan pie. Uh, no, you know what? That's the wheat. But the pecan pie is going to go perfectly with that. And that is uh, mossy and the uh, pebble. No, 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 not the pebble, but the white wheat. So. Uh, where you get that in the catalog. I love to have my chart with me in stock up with my paper. So then when I pull it out, I know exactly what go. Like we go inking uh, botanical, you get all the color coordinate with um, ch -ch uh, Calypso Coral, Crush Curry, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pool Party. So that's where. So know that you get access to that in your catalog. Also, it come in the back of, uh, but it is so small. I know my eyes are not the greatest, but I know I'm not the only one with having a tough time with. You see, these here, I would need so many glasses to be able to read that. And I just got new glasses done. And I still, I mean, I can read it. Azure Afternoon, Boho, a Blue Bubble a Bag, Cajun Craze. But I get a tough time reading that. So I like to have my big piece. Also, if you don't have any of that, when you get your pack, you can take a sticky note and mark it, okay? Always some thing. So now we're going to take this, what we score, and the measurement was one at three and three quarter by three and a quarter, and one at three and three quarter by two and three quarter. They both score at half inch. So we're going to, oh, you have to, when you uh, take the bone folder, follow the score line. I don't know what the heck I did there, but here we go. Okay, so I got that. Now, where's this one? Was that the one? Maybe I took the wrong one. I don't even feel the score on this. One minute. Oh, it is. No, okay. Let's check that back. I must have forgot to do the score. Okay, this one was two and three quarter. This one had to be three and a quarter. And that's not right. And this is right. And we're going to score at three, um, I mean, score at half inch. Here we go. So it's a very, very, I mean, I just decided to do that this morning and I was like, what can I do that? It's so simple for them. You know what? I thought I wanted that at the top, but no, the fish go at the bottom, like in the water. Now we're going to take this here and we're going to glue that um, about a quarter inch total. So like so, and then the next one. Et voila. So you see, you get all those different print, but really just two pieces of paper. How simple it is, right? Okay, somebody was in and out for a second. Sometimes that can be at one end or the other. 
if it keep on happening, I learn to log out and come back in, okay? If voila, how simple is that? Now I'm gonna take very vanilla and we're gonna mount that at the top. I really, really, really like this here. Okay, we're gonna do this. That's not finished. We're gonna do something else. You know what? I'm gonna need a little strip to put inside. And I want them the long way. So I'm gonna do the flies, because that's what I got my husband for Father's Day. Some fly fishing fly. And five. And F. Okay, we're going to put that inside. So the front, it's not done. So don't run away, okay? And I'm going to put that right here. You know what? I want something else to... I said we're going to use the designer syrup paper. Well, let me teach you how to use the designer syrup paper. Now I'm going at one inch. Flip this around at five and a half. If I want to sell more designer series paper, I have to show you how to use it. Well, let's make sure we use plenty on the car because this is very light, so you can add a lot of layers, my friend. Here, oops, that's not what I wanted. Well, I wanted this there, but that's okay. Oh, no, no, you know what? We're going to... That's okay, it's all okay. It was just a strip in the center. Perfect. I think I can still use it. I think so. So we're going to put strip right here. We'll see. If not, you know what? It's just paper. I'm going to cut more. We're going to put that right here. So you want to make sure you put the strip on the side that uh, you, do, you don't want to see, right? Now, I'm going to remove that. And I think I can take this piece. It's almost in the center. Not quite, maybe, but close enough. See, it worked. Perfect. I'm off a little bit, and that is normal, you know, when you uh, cut your paper, you can be just a smidge. Always go from the back and trim that equally to your paper. Boom. So now you see, I got a little bit more paper inside. It don't change the, but I got the front inside now, I say. Okay, we're going to put the greeting there in a minute. So don't run away. Okay, this one, I absolutely love the colors. Well, if you know me a little bit, you know I love uh, blues. And Lost Lagoon and Pool Party, I think it's very striking together. So I already pre-scored this one. It's the same thing, three and three quarter each, Y. And when it's at three and a, uh, three and a quarter, score at half inch. We're going to put that there. And both, I choose both of these prints because it got both the yellow on the back of it. So I try to choose something that go together. One thing that I should note to you though, whatever print that you use, you want to make sure the direction you go, if the direction on the paper make uh, a difference. And this here, when you flip that, it's okay. Like if you get some writing in the back and you flip it upside down, it would look kind of funny. Or sometimes it's like faces or whatever. So just pay attention on the type of a print you get on both sides that go, if you flip it, go in the right direction. See, boom, this is gonna go perfect. This one was iffy a little bit because it's kind of like, um, oh, I don't have another one. Uh, it's kind of like flowers, but it looked more like just filigree. So I said, oh, it's going to work. So that's one thing you want to pay attention when you choose your print of paper. And it can be all abstract. You know, it can be all very differently. Absolutely. Et voila. And now I'm going to mount that on pool party. And now because it's color inside, I'm going to grab an insert of white. I always say, anytime you use col oops, 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 uh, 
color paper for your card base, add um, inside a white or very vanilla. It's a lot easier to read uh, the message than you would do on um, color for writing. Now I'm just gonna use, you know what, instead of going this way, I'm gonna go this way on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and that it's scrap that was left from the thing, put it right here. And this here really it's a just because uh, card because we just wanna put yellow. But I wanted to make sure that I did um, one in any occasion and one for Father's Day. So you can see that this style card it's great for any occasion that you need a card for. Very clean and simple. Okay, now we're gonna get jiggy with it. Oh, 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 I wanted to punch my circle in that and I forgot because they already glue. Because really I'm using the two inch circle and I wanted to punch it in the layer there. I didn't, so let me grab a pecan pie and Lost Lagoon to uh, do a two inch circle. I thought I was smart to go uh, and save those color. Well, I got busy chit-chatting. That would be typical of Frenchie. Okay, I got pecan and now I need Lost Lagoon. So in the L I go. M N O P Q L M N. Come here, where are you? Oh, she was stuck there. Okay, and then here. So really what um, to save, you know, on paper, and not just save on paper, it's just that you got it, what, why not? I could have used the layer there and cut it, uh, punch that out. See, boom, boom. See where I'm going with that? Now I got a pecan pie. Another one, I'm gonna do a um, create on the fly tomorrow night on YouTube. I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna show you the paper I'm using. You got, put your sunglasses on, okay? Cause you're gonna say, whoa, put your sunglasses on. This is the paper I'm using tomorrow night. Okay. Um, I, I'm doing a video today for my regular post. So. I'm going to use that for happy retirement. I think this friend would be very lovely for happy retirement for a man or even a woman because I'm thinking of Kathy, my neighbor. She really, really loved fishing. So uh, that would be great when she retire, right? Okay, so uh, today I'm going to use the happy birthday. So I get, well, I thought I had a, yep, it flew here. Um, okay, so this is two inch circle punch and I'm using one and three quarter. If you've been waiting on them, they w this is online exclusive. I got it, the shop uh, right below in the description or above wherever it goes on, on Facebook. I got the easy link for shopping. I got the two inch punch and the one and a half. I think so. If maybe I forgot it, I will add them on. I think I did forget it. I will add them on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Happy Father's Day right here. And you can add some bling, you can add some ribbon, uh, whatever floats your boat, but you can keep it as plain as you want to. I think I got a pool party ribbon that would go good with this. So let me check. I'm gonna show you a little thin bits of more pizzazz. I'm going to use dimensional here. So if you're watching this video after uh, June 2023, the sale of the designer seer paper, it's done, okay? And now I'm going to put that. See, I'm off. Oh, it's not show. It's all on me. Here we go. How cool is that? Okay, here we're going to do the hello, but I think I got a ribbon. I do, I do, Sam, I do. Um, absolutely love this ribbon here. Okay, I got this beautiful sheer ribbon here in the pool party. We're gonna take about um, 
Mm. You know what? I should have measured that. Okay. Let me tell you about how long this is here. So this is about, oh, seven inch, okay, about. Yes, about. Now we're gonna do, I'm using um, The Biggest Wish. And uh, is it Lost, yeah, I got Lost Lagoon. So Pool Party and Lost Lagoon, it's in this. So that's why I'm using that uh, paper. Now I got just the Hello. That. And then this one, what we're going to do, it's mount this one directly. I'm not using um, no uh, dimensional on this one. Now, I'm going to fold this into almost like a ribbon of O. See, I'm going to use a glue dot. Come here, Dad. You know me and my glue dot. I'm surprised I did a card without a glue dot. That is my duct tape in my room, my friend. Absolutely. I live on glue dots. If ever they stop making glue dots, I'm going to have to be out of business, I think. If voila, just like a ribbon of O, we're going to put that there. Uh, let's do another um, glue dot. So I don't see no question there. I hope that if you're not a demonstrator, you're really thinking about joining my team. For, I mean, the discount, it's amazing. Plus, we always get a good time. Doesn't matter where you live in the U.S., everything that I do, it's all um, done online. So you can join from anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to be in Cheyenne. My, I always say, my business follow me wherever I move, right? I started in California being a demonstrator and we moved to Cheyenne, moved to Texas and now back to Cheyenne. So you see, it doesn't matter where you live. Et voila. So now just a little ribbon of, oh, oh my hello, it's cockeyed, but that's bugging me. Here we go. Yeah, I tried to tell myself I'm not a um, personality, um, OCD, but mm, I think I am a little bit. Voila, my friend, how simple was that? I mean, very little stamping. You can do more. You can do, uh, I mean, well, less, except if you don't want a grading, you can put another designer series paper there. But it's a great way to use your paper. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little chat on um, lunchtime on this Wednesday and now I'm looking and I don't see no um, question I'm gonna pull it on the other one here we go so thank you so much for joining me thank you to all of you that um, share my broadcast that's how I can grow my business and I know you get plenty of choice out there to who you shop with and all of you that shop with me thank you for supporting my business I so appreciate you you know what? You want to see what is a uh, customer appreciation this month? It is, if you miss it, it is a box that fit, well, uh, the download share eight uh, car. You can fit more than eight. I got four, uh, 12 right now in it. It feels good. And it is an um, emergency car kit. Why it's emergency car kit? You get four different styles. The greeting can flip and switch the one. So let's say you need a happy birthday. You use your happy birthday. So you made all different kind of greetings. So happy birthday, thinking of you, get well. Uh, the only one that I don't think uh, this would be uh, the best choice, <laughs> that would be a sympathy card. I would have a tough time sending a bright and cheerful um, colors like this for sympathy. But the rest, I mean, it goes. Absolutely. So on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com, you got the host code to put to get the download for that. That is my customer appreciation for the month of June 2023. Perfect, my friend. Till next time. Happy, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now. Well, if I remember how to close this. That, oh, I got it. Bye-bye.